Hello everyone, welcome back. We are talking about the development of the oral cavity and now we will talk about the development of the teeth. The topic has been divided into an overview in which we will talk about various sets of teeth. The, uh, there are two sets of teeth in human adults. In humans, the uh, deciduous teeth or milk teeth and finally the adult teeth. Then we'll talk about the stages of tooth development, how does a tooth develop and what are the various stages through which it goes and then we'll talk about the characteristic features of different stages. So first of all, <laughs> there are two sets of teeth, the deciduous teeth which are known as the primary dentition, these are the temporary teeth. Then we have the permanent teeth, the permanent teeth are known as the secondary dentition and the, um, these are the permanent teeth. In the figure you can see this is the central incisor, this is the lateral incisor, uh, this is the canine. Now this is the first molar, this is the second molar. So these are the milk teeth or the deciduous teeth with our, which are temporary and are exchange with the permanent teeth. So development of <laughs> teeth it actually takes place from ectodermal oral epithelium which contributes to the enamel and neural crest mesenchyme which contributes to the dentine, the pulp, the cementum and the periodontal ligaments. So we have two sets of origin, <coughs> two origins for the development of teeth. First of all, we have oral epithelium, which the ectodermal oral epithelium, which gives rise to enamel. And finally, we have the neural crest mesenchyme, which gives rise to the dentine, the pulp, the cementum and the periodontal ligaments. Now, what are the various stages of tooth development? So there are actually five different stages of tooth development. First of all, we have a dental lamina stage here. This is the dental lamina stage in which an outline has been formed. Then we have bud stage in which various tooth buds are, have been formed, about 10 in number. Then we have a cap stage in which <laughs> this tooth bud is invaginated by, uh, it turns into a cap uh, with the help of surrounding mesenchyme. Then we have a bell stage in which the proliferation is rapidly taking place. And finally we have an apposition stage. The stages will be discussed um, temporarily, uh, but uh, these stages are very important as they give an idea of how the tooth develops and what are the various important factors that help in the development of tooth. So these are the stages, slight de some details of the stages. First of all, we have the dental lamina stage. So in dental lamina stage, there is thickening of the uh, ectoderm which overlies the alveolar process. Now it invaginates into the underlying mesenchyme to form the dental lamina. So first of all, the ectoderm which overlies the alveolar process, that is the site at which the teeth has to be formed, it undergoes thickening. After undergoing thickening, <laughs> it invaginates into the underlying mesenchyme and this invagination is known as the dental lamina. Now the bud stage appears, at bud stage there is proliferation of dental lamina at 10 centers or spots to form tooth buds. So these dental lamina which were formed in the dental lamina stage now undergo pro proliferation in uh, at 10 different sites. This proliferation is known as the bud stage. Then we have the cap stage. At cap stage, this tooth bud, which was already being formed, is invaginated by the mesenchyme. <coughs> the invaginated mesenchyme forms the dental papilla. The tooth bud now becomes, the, becomes like a cap, hence the name cap stage. Fine, uh, now we have the bell stage. In bell stage, there is histidine differentiation of ameloblasts. Ameloblasts are the cells that are responsible for the production of gums. Now, the ameloblasts <coughs> are formed from the enamel organ and odontoblasts from the pulp. Both of these cells develop the tooth and the tooth assumes the shape of a bell. 
and apposition stage is the last stage in which this formation of enamel and dentin matrix so these are the five stages of development of the tooth these stages are very important and will be dealt uh, with in detail in a little while but this was an overview so that you can understand them so this was all about this section in this section we talked about the two types of teeth the adult teeth and the deciduous or the milk teeth we saw how the development of teeth takes place and what are the various steps of teeth development the steps will be taken up in detail in the next section so i hope you're excited about that keep watching scardia.com